Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about backing up a Mac to a QNAP NAS using Time Machine. And I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist. And I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a technique to back up a Mac using one account on the QNAP. So you could back up one Mac to this, or if you had a few Macs, like in a home setting, and you want to back them all up to one account, um, this is the technique you can use. Otherwise, there's another technique you can use where you have Macs back up to their own accounts on the QNAP. I'll go over that in a later video. So to get started, we're logged into the QNAP. I'll click on App Center. I'll click on the search, and I'll type Hybrid. And you see this Hybrid Backup Sync? I'll click Install here. Okay, Hybrid Backup is installed. I'll click Open. I can close my App Store window. So we have a little intro screen here. I'll close it. So on the left here, you want to click on Services, and then we'll click on Time Machine. It's the top choice, so it's already selected. I want to click on Use Shared Time Machine Account, and then the username is Time Machine, and the password, I'll just enter a password in here. I'm choosing my one volume I have, and then capacity is unlimited or maximum gigabytes, so you can uh, cap it at some amount there. So I'll click Apply. It says it's going to disrupt my SMB service. I'll click OK. I'll minimize my screen. I'll go to my Finder on my Mac. I'll click on Go and go to Connect to Server. Then I want to connect to SMB colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of my server forward slash TM backup and that you want TM and B to be capital. I'll click connect here. So I want to type the name is Time Machine and then the password I set. I'll click connect. Now I want to open up System Preferences and click on Time Machine. I have this checked here where it says Show Time Machine in Menu Bar so I can access it up here also. I want to click on Select Disk and you'll see the TM Backup is there as an available disk. I am already backing this up on DS Time Machine, so I'll click Encrypt Backups. I'll click Use Disk. It's going to ask me if I want to use uh, the DS Time Machine and the TM Backup or replace the DS Time Machine, and I want to use both. You can do either, whatever works for you. It's asking for my password again, and this is the Time Machine password. I'll click Connect. It's asking for the backup password. So this password is used to encrypt the actual backup. I'll click Encrypt Disk, and now I have two backups here. I have DS Time Machine, and then I have TM Backup, and it says Waiting to Backup. So this will take quite a while to backup because I have a lot of data, but when that's done, I'll, it'll actually back up to both of these systems. But you can certainly just back up to TM Backup. A good technique to do is to back up to the QNAP and then also plug in, say, like a USB hard drive and back up to both. That way you have multiple backups. So that's all for this video. I'm not going to wait hours for this to complete. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.